Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today I'm really excited to bring you from our friends at Stamperia, the province collection. We've got rice paper and a paper pack, and my friend Steve, who's filming with me today, just told me that the province uh, uh, area in France is known for their lavender, so I'm assuming that's where this was inspired from. So let's take a look at this paper here. It's beautiful. It's got lots of tags, the front and back. So you'll have some that are printed on the back and some that are um, a little less embellished on the back side. And all of this beautiful, beautiful paper with borders makes gorgeous cards. It's just a little eight by eight paper pack that you can do lots with. And of course these two beautiful rice papers. This one is called Lavender Fantasy Rice Paper and this one is Lavender Vase Rice Paper for obvious reasons. There's a lot of containers here. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you a card that I made. This is a double M card. There we go. It's a die cut card from Hot Off The Press. It comes with in a pack of five cards and five envelopes. And the cards are already die cut for you. They're already folded for you. So now you just have all the fun of decorating them. They're really a fun card to make. So let me show you what I did here. So on the front, um, I used three different pieces of paper, cutting the border off of a po polka dot paper. And I just layered those on the front. And then I layered two different uh, cutouts, a larger one and the smaller one. And then I just did some foam tape there. And I took a little pixie petal. This one is called Twilight and it's a nice lavender color. And I put that on the front with a little um, gold tiny words and phrases greeting that says hello. So then when you open this card, bang, you get this really great three dimensional card. What's great about the die cut cards is on the inside of the little front cover, you get all of these patterns so that you can just perfectly put that over your paper and cut all the patterns out. Here we go. These all go right in here. And that makes that simple. And then I just took one of those little cutout, um, those little cutout greetings, and I folded it in half, and then I glued that onto the center and just added a little bit of g purple gingham bow from the purple, from the gingham ribbon set uh, that you can get at Paper Wishes. And it all just comes together really nicely. So I have another thing I wanted to show you. Uh, here we go. This is a journal. These are stone paper journals. Um, they're also from uh, Stamperia and they're really great because the stone paper has a texture. So it's really great to use different products on. And I used bits of this lavender fantasy. I used a larger piece on another project and this little piece down here was what was left. Whoa, I'm really off center. There we go. <laughs> this little, these two pieces right here were taken off the bottom of this and then I just tore them um, using a little bit of a water tear and I'll show you how to do that. And then used um, a glue and water concoction and put that right on the top. I used opal polish. This is pink thistle opal polish on the surface of my album. And then I embellished that with some purple flowers. These are from 49 and Market. And then also these great little sparklets. These are Winter Wishes sparklets. Um, and that came together just great. And then also there's this great album. Don't worry, I haven't finished it yet. But inside you can put the covers to your albums and you can put several at a time in here, which I think is just great. And then you just have a whole collection of all of your album, your journals over the next few years. So here's another one. And they have these great elastics in here. And you just put that one in. So you can get four different albums in here at a time. So I think that is fantastic. So we're gonna show you now how to decorate this album. So let me return to the pink thistle. And what I did was, this opal polish is just great. If you've never used it, it comes in a ton of colors. You wanna just dip this right in there and sort of use the edge to scrape off the excess. So you've got your pad really well coated, but it's not all sort of lumpy and junky. And I just went around the edges of this, okay? And then 
I'm going to do something on the spine here so I didn't want to cover the center and then the back is fully covered. It's got kind of a nice painty texture to it as well. So let's get out the craft sheet. There we go. And what I have done is I've cut a couple of pieces of the same rice paper. I'm going to show you how I cut that. There we go. So this piece was here and this piece was right here and I just cut those down to fit my needs for the front cover. There we go. And then I just like to take some of the cosmic shimmer glue that we love to use around here. I'm going to need a nice little probably quarter size dollop of glue. And we're going to thin that about 50% with water. Take a nice big flat wide brush, mix that together to make kind of a little slurry there. Okay, and then I like to just paint this directly on the back of my rice paper. And I'm doing this on the album because I don't care if the album gets wet on the back with glue because I'm gonna cover it with glue anyway. So the most important part to get covered are the edges because those are the part that gets the most touching and the most wear and once an edge starts to peel up on a project you're kind of done for so you want to get that nice and covered and the middle part I just sort of like to make it connect with the album I don't worry about the middle part being soaked all right so now I'm just going to take this and center that on the album Go. Now I'm just going to take some more of that glue and we're going to go around the outside edges. And through the center. Should have made more because now I got to do the side. I guess it's always to make less than you need because you don't want it to waste it and dry it up. That's something my mother would say. All right. Now this is going to go on the spine. Once again, just making sure that I get the edges and then working my way to the center. There we go. Going around those edges again with some of that glue mixture, glue and water mixture. This is just good old fashioned decoupage. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna add, while this is still wet even, it's fine. We're gonna add a little bit more of this opal polish actually on the surface along those edges just to give it a little extra color and a little extra texture, visual texture rather. It's not going to actually feel anything. All right, that's good to go. And then of course I just rinse my sponge out. I, if I was not on camera, I would actually rinse that sponge out immediately. And that's how I keep those working for me. All right, so now another thing you can do for your little focal on the front of your album um, are these wonderful little ceramic plates, also from Stamperia. Um, I could use the round on the center um, or the oval. I'm just going to choose to use the oval, and it's going to go something like that. You could also put magnets on the back of this, make great fridge magnets. We've done that and had a lot of fun with those. All right, so now I'm going to take this one is the vase rice paper. And I'm just gonna select one of my images here. Really like this one with the pots. So I'm just gonna kinda go and make an oval. This is just plain water. I'm just taking a paintbrush and outlining that. And why is that? It's because I'm gonna tear it. Now if you try to tear this, if you try to tear rice paper that it's dry, 
you don't really have any control over the tear. If you're making a little ditch with the water, that is just going to tear right along that water edge, that ditch that we've made. And it gives you this really nice feathery edge. That's why I like to tear rice paper rather than cut it out when I'm working with little focals. All right, so there we have that piece. I'm gonna keep tearing along that little edge. There we go. All right, we're gonna make a little bit more of our glue mixture. That right on back here. And one thing I've noticed is that these little ceramics, of course, are very, very porous. So I'm gonna go ahead and coat that with a little bit of the glue mixture. And that's just sucking that right in, but it's actually kind of prepping that for the rice. Now I'm going to just slop up the rest of this glue and water. And I put that right on the center. Take my brush and go along those little torn feather edges so that they lay right down. There we go. Now we're gonna take a little bit more of our opal polish and go right along the edge of that. Finish off those side edges. Here we go. Now I'm gonna go back to the album. Now at this point, I can add a few little more flowers to this, some little sparklets, put some magnets on the back and be done. Or I can go ahead and take this and put some glue on it and make it the focal of my album cover. Okay, that's gonna wanna be really slippery slidey for a minute. Now I'm gonna take a few those purple flowers that we looked at before. That's important that that stays straight. It started to slip a little bit. I like taking these flowers and just kind of pulling those open a little bit, those buds. And I've got some of my little twilight pixie petals. Right there. Got a nice little cluster there. And we're gonna take some of our little sparklets because I don't know, I've just become so enamored with sparklets, my projects don't seem to be done until I get those on there. I'm gonna actually put some of the sparklets on the surface here. I think I'm gonna add one more of these little pixie petals right there too, give that a little bit of dimension. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, that's all done. And then inside, whoa, I'm gonna open it, you guys. Whoa, we have our journal keeper right there. So you could easily get, if you're a really um, proficient at journaling, you could get an entire year's worth of journals in this very easily. We have a great money saver on this province collection. If you are watching us on our vlog page, it is directly below the video. There's a big blue button called Money Saver. Just click on that, it'll take you to the Money Saver page. If you're watching us on YouTube, just check in the description box right below this video and you'll find links to the Money Saver as well as paperwishes.com where we have lots more videos and lots of fun goodies to play with. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.